going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Cairo. If you guys are new and if you are a returning subscriber, I am so glad you guys are back for another video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications and follow along on social media. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 things I wish I would have known before college. So this is like my adolescence, what I would have known before becoming a adult an adult. Use grammar, Haley. I want to say thank you to Lingoda for sponsoring this video. We partnered together last year to share all about why continuing education is so important and to why we should always be learning. But this time around, we're going to be sharing all about their new business English course. And I'm very excited to share it with you guys because it is going to help you whether you are a high school student, a college student, or just in the workforce in general. It's pretty evident that the most successful people in this world never stop learning. They're avid readers. They're always trying to better themselves and grow and I think it is a foundation to anybody's success and so that is why this is so important to me to share with you. Lingoda is an amazing online platform that can teach you different languages at your own time and pace. You can actually choose your class time and have your own teacher. It's very cool. I'm actually going to be taking French which I'm super stoked about but I'm even more excited about this business English course that they have. It is something that is so crucial especially with what I do because I deal with international all the time with different corporations and businesses and I talk to people and I have to write emails and I was not trained to do this in a business sense but because I have a business I kind of fell into it and having the proper verbiage is so important whether you're on the phone a Skype email or just writing an email so with the English for business course you're able to learn the proper way of speaking in a business situation so whether you're trying to apply for a job write a resume a cover letter do an interview this course is totally up your alley they always say you never get a second chance to make Make a first impression and these are vital tools that you need to be in the workforce whether you're applying for a job or you're just trying to be an entrepreneur I highly recommend you guys check this out like I said I'm gonna be doing it myself I also have a coupon code for you guys and I will have all of the links down below I'm also going to put it here so that way you guys can save some moolah on your first class Lingoda is also offering you guys a chance to split your courses 10 20 or 30 classes Per month. There are 90 classes in total, but you choose the monthly model that you would like. You can also cancel before you finish the 90 classes. They're all going to be taught by qualified native speakers, and you can book classes 24 7 no matter if you need an early morning on the weekends or late at night there is going to be a class for you and you will be having free access to the learning material if you have any questions about if you're qualified enough for this class they recommend that you at least have a b1 english speaking level you guys can also sign up for a free one hour trial class with a teacher i'll have links down below the second thing i wish i would have learned was time management I was definitely somebody who had to kind of structure my own day. My parents were very busy and my mom was sick when I was growing up. So my adolescence was very like scattered. We didn't have a lot of routine. And so now as an adult, I crave routine. I have to be super structured. I think when you're in high school, you feel like you've got like all this time. I mean, you get out of high school and you're like, why am I so old now? And you don't realize how much you can really get done during the day just by planning it out. Even if it's not super structured, but you kind of time block it by maybe morning, afternoon, evening. Of course you can go hourly but definitely having better time management skills, setting alarms on my phone. They have so many resources nowadays with phone apps. We didn't always have all that when I was growing up that it's like impossible to not be in a structured routine. So definitely take advantage of all these resources. I will link a bunch of my planner videos and time management videos down for you guys if you're having trouble getting focused and staying productive. The third thing that I wish I would have done before starting 18 was saving money. I started working at 14 and if I think about even saving 20% of everything I ever made from the time that I'm, I'll be 25 this year, I would have had such a nice little chunk of change. Like why Haley? My dad always said, you know, put 20% of everything you earn away, but like I didn't do it. I do it now, but still. If saving 20% of everything that you earn in a savings account isn't something you can do, maybe you don't have one yet, I highly recommend that you get one. There are so many bank accounts that are like free annual fees. You don't even have to put a deposit in. Try to find one in your area that you can use. If you wanna do the cash route, I personally put $20 away every single week in an envelope and just hide it. I don't even look at it. When you're in high school, it's really easy to get wrapped up in like getting an expensive prom dress and buying a car and staying up with the trends. Like you get out and you're just like, that doesn't even matter because I'm gonna wear sweatpants in college. So definitely really think about money as a tool and just because you have it, you don't have to spend it. 
The fourth thing that I wish I would have done more was question everything and second guess anything or get a, not second guess, but get a second opinion on big decisions. At least when I was in high school, it was kind of like you go to high school, you go to college, you find a job. There's so much more free market now and people are entrepreneurs and people aren't necessarily always going to college. You still need advice and I think finding proper mentors from one or two individuals, maybe even more and not just fixating on like what your guidance counselor says, they might be fantastic. I personally didn't have a really great one. So they just kind of were like, oh, this is what you want to do. Okay, we're going to make that happen. Looking back, I wouldn't have done what I did, which was apply to a school that I really couldn't afford. And I didn't really know where I was going to take that. Like, I don't know. I just wish I would have talked to multiple individuals first before really diving into something. Similar to that, number five is I wish I would have done more learning and research independently of school. Again, now you've so many more resources with the internet and audiobooks and podcasts. So if I was in high school now, I would be learning about being an entrepreneur, starting a business, any type of internet thing. If you're not utilizing the internet, you're missing out. I hate to say it. Learn as much about the internet as you can. Social media marketing, Amazon. There's so many different things that you guys can do. I would have been all over it if I could have. Number six is personal development. This is something that I didn't really dive into until I was about 16, which is when I had my whole fitness weight loss thing. That propelled May Movement, which was my company at the time. Well, I still have it, which propelled me into health coaching and helping other people better their lives. And I'm gonna be sharing all about what May Movement is doing. I'm very excited for some new stuff we have coming out, but I wish that I would have read more books that weren't just like fiction books and love stories. I wish I would have learned more about how to be a better me. Cause fitness and nutrition is fantastic, but if you don't have the mental strength or the personal strength, it's, it's not lasting. Number seven is I wish I would have understood more about money in terms of what you're expected of as a citizen and paying taxes and saving accounts and all of that stuff and again so many resources out there nowadays that you can totally do your research on this start educating yourself on on money because it's important number eight is your domestic independence this was something I was actually very good at and it always surprised me when I would be with a friend and they like didn't know how to either like change their tire or like I don't know boil water whatever make sure you kind of know those simple things in life that when you do get out on your own you are confident in them changing a light bulb or changing the filter in your refrigerator water. I don't know, just kind of basic things that you need to know. And laundry, know how to do laundry. The ninth thing is to realize that it is okay to not necessarily know what you wanna do. I was so fixated on college and being a graphic designer and creative director for a company that I was like tunnel vision. I think if I would have had the right guidance and really taken a step back and been like, what do I wanna do? I was, I was dealing with so much at that time in my life that I really was not in a place to make these types of decisions. Decisions. So if you're in a place where you feel like you can't make those decisions, it's okay. You've got time, pros and cons of everything. And if you don't really know what it is you want to do, that's okay. But don't, that doesn't mean you don't have to stop learning. Take some courses or, you know, get an internship. Do something so you can kind of feel the water, test the water. The tenth thing is to prioritize self-care. This was something, this word was not as popular when I was in high school. Right now it's like super trendy and it should be. Mental health awareness is a very important thing. Um, speaking from some someone who has mental health issues. I'm gonna be very transparent with you guys. I suffer from anxiety and depression. You guys, and insomnia, you've probably heard me talk about this before. I wish that in high school I would have allowed my introvert habits to happen instead of fight them. I felt like I was supposed to always be out and social and at football games and at every dance and every party and do all these things. And then when I got really sick in high school, I was like, whoa, why did I care so much about these things? I am burning myself into the ground so I think as a high school student, especially before college, knowing your boundaries, knowing when to say, you know what, I just need tonight to like take care of myself, read a book, do a face mask, maybe, you know, listen to a sermon. I don't need to be at every party all the time and just like relax a little bit, decompress, let your body like chill out and you'll feel way more refreshed. You'll be really happy that you did it. And it's also just really good, especially to kind of step away from like studying and school and jobs and, and just be yourself and do things for you. But that is the 10 things that I would have done differently as a high school student. If you guys have anything else you want to add, comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know to do 
more videos like this. It really helps me to know what to film. Don't forget to check out Lingoda's English for Business course. Like I said, I will have all the information down below with my coupon code as well. It's such a vital tool. This is kind of in that category of if you don't really know what you want to do to still take courses, this would be the course to take. But as always, I hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow along on social media and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.